Hello and welcome to Shikshaizen. Today we are going to discuss some important questions from a chapter called Electricity for 10th Standard NCRT Syllabus. Some important questions which can be very useful for the board exam are going to be useful for the board exam. Today we are going to be going to be discussing them. You will get benefited from this session, surely. The first question for the today's session is Series Connection of Resistors. Resistors can be connected either in a series or a parallel. Combined resistance for the series connection of a resistors R1, R2 and R3 and it's a formula we can derive by using this uh, skeletal circuital diagram. Here we have three resistors R1, R2 and R3. They are joined in series connection. A represents A meter, B represents voltmeter. Here it's called battery having variable voltage and a T. And this connection in which the same amount of electric current passes through all the resistors without changing the magnitude of electric current is called a series connection. Or we can define a series connection, a connection in which the same amount of electric current passes through all the resistors R1, R2 and R3 is known as series connection. Here the electric current is produced in the positive terminal according to the convention. This will pass from the emitter. Emitter is an instrument which can measure the electric current. The electric current is measured by the instrument of emitter. Passing electric current is reached in terminal X. Here we have to pass from the R1 resistance. The resistance R1 is the potential difference in it. We can measure it by arranging a voltmeter which is called V1. Which can measure the potential difference across R1. Similarly, we can measure the potential difference across R2 by adjusting V2. And for V3, we have to, sorry, for resistance V, R3, we have to arrange V3 as a voltmeter. Here are three terminals, meaning three resistances, which are A, B, C, D, E and F points that I am denoting. And all of the total voltage drop will be measured by connecting a voltmeter between the terminal X and Y. X and Y, we will measure वोल्टेज ड्रॉप मेजर करने के लिए ये जो है वोल्ट मीटर बी का इस्तेमाल कर सकते हैं मतलब यहां पर मैंने तीन वोल्ट मीटर का इस्तेमाल किया है V1, V2 एंड V3। V1 मेजर्स द वोल्टेज ड्रॉप अक्रॉस R1, V2 मेजर्स द वोल्टेज ड्रॉप अक्रॉस R2 एंड V3 मेजर्स द वोल्टेज ड्रॉप अक्रॉस R3। ए बी सी डी एंड ई एफ आर द टर्मिनल्स फॉर ए बी इट इज आर वन सी डी आर टू एंड फॉर आर थ्री वी है Again, a definition of series connection of resistors. The resistors are so connected that the equal amount of electric current passes through all of them. Here, the electric current I is passing through all of them. Same electric current I will pass through all of them. I from R1, I from R2 and I from R3. Only the voltage drop changes between R1, R2 and R3 we are having. And total voltage drop is denoted by V. Then according to the formula, V is equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3. The total voltage drop across the terminal X and Y, it is equal to the voltage drop across the terminal A and B, C and D and E and F. Now according to Ohm's law, we know that V is equal to IR. V is equal to IR. Therefore, V1 is equal to IR1, V2 is equal to IR2. And V3 is equal to IR3. Substituting these values V1, V2 and V3 into the above equation number 1. What we will get? Instead of V, we have to put IR. So it is IR is equal to IR1 plus IR2 plus IR3. Taking I common, we have IR is equal to I common. It is R1 plus R2 plus R3. II cancel. So what we will get? That R is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. And this is the formula for the equivalent resistance for a three resistors R1, R2, R3 join in a series connection. 
when three resistors R1, R2 and R3 are joined in a series connection, the equivalent resistance R can be calculated by this formula R is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. Here, the equal amount of electric current passes through all the resistors. Only the difference in the voltage drop, we can have, we have we can, we can measure it by using the voltmeter across the AB point, CD point and EF point. And the total voltage drop throughout the three resistors can be measured by putting a voltmeter between terminal X and Y. So total voltage drop V is equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3. Now V is equal to IR. That means V1 is equal to IR1, V2 is equal to IR2, V3 is equal to IR3. Substituting all these values in equation number 1, we will get IR is equal to IR1 plus IR2 plus IR3. I common, I cancel, R is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. This R represents the equivalent resistance for three resistors R1, R2, R3 joined in a series connection. Copy, karlo jaldi se circuit diagram draw karlo and stay tuned for the parallel connection in which we will derive the equivalent resistance when three resistors R1, R2 and R3 are joined in a parallel connection.